She is a survivor and um, she will be able to tell us about her story and her journey. Debbie.
I walked in my first relay last summer, just four months after my diagnosis. And it was hugely empowering for me to be there among my peeps, my people. There is a Native American proverb that says, sorrow shared is halved and joy shared is doubled. And that's how I felt at the relay. It was a pivotal moment for me. Still with half my chemo left to go to be there that day and walk that track that morning, consider myself a survivor. There's a lot of things I learned on this journey I'd like to talk to you about today. Um, mostly today, I would like to talk to you about how you think about your health after diagnosis and treatment and moving into survivorship. There are a couple of quotes I'd like to share with you. One, they're actually both by Deepak Chopra. And one says, we are the only beings on the planet who can change our biology by what we think and feel. And the other says, health is not just the absence of a disease. It's an inner joyfulness that should be ours all the time, a state of positive well-being. And this is one of the things that has changed in me, how I view my life and how I view my health. And I see now that the health of my body, although very important, is not the greatest measurement of the state of my health and well-being. It is about the state of health of my brain and my heart. A cancer diagnosis and treatment and all that came with it helped me get right with me. That adversity came with a huge opportunity to be my best, to have my, my children see me at my best, at my worst, and at my best again. I realized that in this hand that the cancer came with, all these gifts came into this hand that with all of, of the losses that you all know are part of a cancer diagnosis, there are gifts and miracles that arrive that, that, that all of cancer's losses can never compete with the awesome abundance of all of that. There's a Chinese proverb, the barn burned down, but now I can see the moon. And that's how I felt about my life. I felt as if everything I thought about my life and myself and how my life would go, how I had taken my health for granted my whole life, that was all burned to the ground for me. But out of that, uh, I was changed and had been growing into my, my best self, my, my best Debbie. Every day now, I think and see myself and envision myself well and whole. I replace worry with gratitude because I found that worry changes nothing and gratitude changes everything. I realize that the small stuff is the big stuff. And every day, I am committed to loving the stuffing out of my life. Survivorship for me is not about 
whether I beat this cancer. I don't know what list I'm on. I hope that years to come, I'm out there still walking the relay. beating the cancer. It's about showing up every day of your life with a heart and eyes as open as the sky regarding adversity as a good education and remembering that a bend in the road is not the end of the road if you make the turn. A cancer diagnosis and treatment is filled with losses and shook me hard. But so many angels arrived, many of them through ACS. And so it has left me absolutely committed and grateful to live my sacred, precious life every day. Every day is a gift, even when it sucks. Thank you.